All right, folks, welcome to math class. Here we go. We're going to start with a topic called ratios. Here's how you write it. You may have seen that word before. A ratio is basically a comparison of two numbers or two things. And in this case, let's talk about men's and women's washrooms in a mall. So let's pretend you went into a mall and you uh, decided to count how many men's washrooms are in this place. So you go and you notice, okay, there's one and uh, two. And you don't see any more. That's it. Anyway, you decide to be fair and go check out the women's washrooms too. Not that you'd go inside them or anything, but I'm, I'm just saying you're counting the number of women's washrooms. And uh, you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six women's washrooms in that mall. It's not very fair, but on the other hand, um, we're just talking about ratios, not whether or not men's and women's washrooms in a mall are a fair thing. So, the important thing here is, we're going to write a ratio that compares men's washrooms to women's washrooms. How many men's washrooms do you see? I see two. So you write down a two. In math, you put two dots there, and then you count the women's washrooms. There's six of them. So the way you would say this is there's two to six men's washrooms to women's washrooms. The ratio of men's to women's washrooms is two to six. That's the best way to say it. Okay, that is the first way to, to write a ratio. There's two more, two more ways you can do this. You can simply say, okay, I'm going to write this as a fraction. Fractions look like this. Put the 2 on the top, the 6 on the bottom, done. That's the second way to write a fraction. The last way to write a fraction is with words. You'd go 2, 2, 6. And that's the last way to write a fraction. Okay? Or that's the last way to write a ratio, sorry. Now, in the next quick lesson after this, I'm going to explain how to reduce a fraction like this, or re to reduce a ratio, get it into its simplest form. But just to keep things simple, right now you should just say, hey, I know how to write a ratio in three different ways. And that's all you need to know for this video.